Hey guys, welcome to my first video. So for today's video, I did a cranberry smoky eye. It's very fall AF. So if you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Boom. I know it can be a little scary when you see me with no makeup. So ignore my background. Um, it's still spooky season in my room. Me and my sister, we, we just love Halloween, oh my gosh. So to start, I'm going to prime my eyes. I always use concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, it's in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm just going to use the Kylie brush. Uh, this doesn't have a name on it, so I'm just going to blend that in my lid. And once you have the concealer on, you just want to set it. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a cranberry smoky eye today. So I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance palette. Mine's, um, it's kind of crusty. I use it a lot. So it's a little beat or whatever. But I'm going to be using this color right here, this one, and this one. I'm also going to be using the Carly Bible palette. Um, I only use, I'm only going to use this um, for my transition color, which is this color right here. I love this color. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Morphe Y16 brush. I have a discount code. It's JMoneyMEA for anyone that wants to shop there or whatever. So another color I'm going to use for my crease is going to be this one right here. It's called Burnt Orange and I'm going to use the brush Y17. It's also by Morphe. I'm just going to grab the brush I was using before. Um, it's the Y16 and I'm just going to blend it out. Alright, so after it's blended, I'm going to go in with the dark colors now. What I like to do is I always put the dark colors in my crease first um, instead of putting them on the lid right away. I think it just makes it look more blended when you do that. So I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use Red Ochre and Love Letter. And I'm just going to mix those two. And I'm going to use the Y17 brush. I'm going to add more to make it darker. So you won't be able to see that harsh line. I'm just going to go in with the transition colors and blend it out. So once your crease is all blended, you want to use the, color, the same colors. So for this step, you want to use a packing brush and I'm going to use the Y18. So I'm just going to keep building it up till I get it to how dark I want it to be. I'm not going to do winged eyeliner for this look, so I just, whenever I don't do it, I just like to drag the color up. So since I already have that color blended in my crease, it just makes it so much easier because then you don't even have to blend your crease at all. You just have to blend the edges, which is right over here. Alright, so once I'm done with the eyeshadow, I'm just going to do a thin black line on the top. So for that, I'm going to use the Cap on D Tattoo Eyeliner. So once I do the thin line, I just curl my lashes and I use the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline. I don't usually put my eyelashes on after I put mascara, I just let it dry. So I just wait till the end to do that. Alright, so now I'm going to do my face makeup. So to prime, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. And this primer really does a good job with smoothing out your skin. You can have a whole crater and it will really smooth it out. It smooths it out and it also kind of mattifies your skin. 
so that's what I really like about this primer. My skin is kind of dry like on the outside of my face so I like to use the Smashbox primer water and I just spray it around. And for foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is so good for oily skin. If you have oily skin, I highly recommend you to get this. You will love it. So I use the shade 104. And this foundation is medium coverage, but you can build it up to make it full coverage. Y'all probably like, damn, bitch, you used the whole bottle. But I always use the Beauty Blender, so it soaks it up, so... Since I don't have eyebrows, I just like to get whatever is left on the beauty blender and just go like that. For my eyebrows, I like to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I also use the Powder Duo, also by Anastasia, it looks like that. And I use it in shade Ebony. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because it's a little time consuming. But if you do want an eyebrow tutorial, just let me know. Alright, so a bitch is back with some eyebrows on. So I'm going to do my concealer now and I'm going to use the same Tarte Shape Tape. And with this concealer, a little goes a long way. So like all this... It's kind of a lot. I don't, I don't really like putting a lot on my forehead because, um, as you can see, I already have a big forehead. So if I put more, it's just going to make it look bigger. So I only like to put a little bit. And I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. So when it comes to the eyeshadow, I just like to get the concealer and drag it up. So just like that. So once the ojeras are gone, I'm gonna set the concealer with the Laura Mercier powder. I like to press it in. I like to also put it in my smile lines because I'd be laughing a lot, so I don't want them to be peeking. I look very cute right now. So now I'm just going to let it bake at 350 degrees. So after it's done baking, we're just going to wipe it off. And I'm going to use the Kat Von D shade and light brush. So after I'm done with my concealer and all that, I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to use this palette for my lower lash line. This is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's. This palette is so nice. I never really use it so that's why I wanted to use it today because I really like this cranberry color. It's like a shimmery cranberry color so I'm going to use it for my lower lash line. And for my lower lash line I always like to use like a little small detailed brush. This is the Y22.
And then I always like to connect my lower lash line to the outer corner of my eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to add the Inkla eyeliner in number 77. And I'm going to use the Y23 brush. This eyeliner is so pigmented. So you just need a little dip and that's it. And then I always like to do like the ugliest face I can think of when doing this. <laughs> like why? Why must I do this face? And then after that, I'm just going to put mascara. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to do my inner corner highlight. And for that, I'm going to use the Dose of Colors um, Desi and Katie collection. And this is in the shade Fuego. I'm also going to put it in my bra bone. Why do I always say bra bone? Bra bone. Do y'all know what that is? It's like the little bone in the bra. <laughs> so I'm also going to put it in my brow bone. So my phone stopped recording when I was putting um, this highlight on. I All I did was put this on top of the areas that I had already highlighted. And this is Trophy Wife. And now I'm going to bronze my face, so I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I love this. It smells so fucking bomb. Oh my god. And I'm going to use the Y4 brush for this. And I have a big ass forehead, like I said, so I do like to put a lot of bronzer. And there you go, the forehead shrinking. To contour, I'm gonna use my contour kit by Anastasia. And this has been through hell and back. Y'all not ready for this. I always like to use this middle shade right here, and I'm gonna use the Shade and Light brush by Kat Von D. And boom, I got cheekbones. Wow, the forehead's looking a lot smaller. For blush, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild. I actually lost the sticker for this, but if I can find it, I'm going to leave it in the description box. It's like a peachy, um, shimmery color. It's really nice. And I'm going to use the Y3 for that. And now for highlighter, I'm going to use the same Dose of Colors highlight. I'm going to use the Real Techniques setting brush. So after that one, to make it a little more Metro Boomin', I'm going to use the Fenty one. And I like to always put like a highlight before this one, just so it won't be too gold for me.
it's okay girl i am so sorry if i blind anyone with this highlight i am so sorry and i always like to clean up this area right here And then I just go on with the contour brush and just go like that. So after I put my highlight, I always like to spray the Mario Badescu facial spray water and this is the cucumber one. Oh, it smells so good and it feels so good when you spray this just feels so refreshing so I actually got these lashes at Walmart because I couldn't find like the ones I normally wear um, they're like the kiss lashes I think at number 11 I couldn't find those so I was like all right let me look for some other lashes and these were like the most like decent ones I could find and I was like a little scared because I was like they're really long but I think they look really good I mean I wouldn't recommend this like if you don't wear lashes and you're just starting to wear lashes like do not get these these are too dramatic for you probably but if you like dramatic eyelashes and really long lashes i think these are like so good and they're only like two something like they were like i don't know like not even three dollars but i will definitely have these listed down below in the description box because i mean I'm ready to fly away with these. So for this look, I have two lipstick options. You can either go with like a like a mauve nude color or like a dark color. It will look really good with both. For the dark lipstick, I have the NYX Liquid Suede um, in the shade Club Hopper. my sister keeps wanting to make an appearance on this fucking video so everyone give it up for evelyn <laughs> <laughs> okay i know yeah do you need help or anything i'm good i could be in the back maybe i'm good <laughs> i'm good okay <laughs> so if you like vampy looks like this i think this lipstick looks so good with this eyeshadow it just makes you look you know like a bad bitch but if y'all don't fuck with this lipstick I got a whole nother option for you. Don't you love when you're wearing a dark lipstick and you're out eating and shit? And then this shit happens? And no one tells you? So for the other lipstick option, I have the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow lipstick. This one will also make you look like a bad bitch. And this is more like wearable if you don't like dark colors. So either or will look bomb AF, honestly. Alright guys, so I'm all done now. I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely stay tuned for more fall videos. And thanks for watching. Wait. It looks like a little set. <laughs> yeah. Do I have a muckle? Síguele. Como que me dio un olorcito a no sé qué. Pues vamos a ponernos desodorante por si acaso. <laughs> sí. Alright, guys, so I'm all done. Jackie, ya lava los trastes. Ándale. Respira, por favor, respira. No. So, yo no sé por qué estás bien relajada ahí como si no vas a hacer nada. Bien soportida. Soportida. Esa es la palabra del día. Soportida.